All right, we're going to do video two for recessive genetics. We're going to stay on track with the recessive clown gene. So if I were to take a visual homozygous clown, full expression of the clown gene, I took her and I bred her to the pastel jungle wild type non-gene carrier and I were to get four eggs from that. We are gonna deal with probability. So this is statistical probability that the resulting four babies, what I could hatch if I bred a visual clown to a pastel jungle non-het clown. Let's remember, pastel jungle is incomplete dominance. Pastel jungle is the heterozygous expression of the full expression, which is super pastel. So super pastel would be the furthest expression of pastel jungle, and it would be called the visual homozygous. The pastel would be basically, it's essentially, it's the visual het of super pastel. So if I were to hatch some babies from that, my results would be uh, pretty, pretty on, on dramatic as far as when we're looking at a clown. So I'd have a pastel, maybe. I'd have a normal. I'd have another pastel and another normal. So the way we figure that out is we have a 50% likelihood that each one of these eggs is a pastel jungle. But because there was a visual clown in the breeding, each one of these eggs is 100% gene carriers. So the resulting four babies that would hatch out of these four eggs are all heterozygous clowns. But two are visual pastels, het clowns. So essentially, these would be pastel, het super pastel, but also het clown. So if we took those resulting pastel clowns, and we bred those together, or we bred a pastel clown. How about we do this? Let's breed a pastel clown times a clown. So we would actually take a clown, and now it's gonna breed one of the pastel clowns. So we have a visual homozygous bred to a gene carrier. And when I breed a visual clown to a het clown, each egg has a probability of 50% chance of being a clown or 50% chance of being another heterozygous, normal looking animals. So if I bred those two animals together and I was lucky and I hit my odds, I'd have a 25% chance of hitting a clown. Have another 25% chance of hit hitting a normal I have another chance of hitting a pastel and I'd have a 25% chance of hitting a pastel clown so these guys just don't want to cooperate but you know this is where it gets exciting so if you pull away this and this you still had a 50% probability of hatching out clowns, which we did. And we also had two, we essentially had each one of these eggs as a 50% chance of being a pastel, 25% probability of being a pastel clown, a 25% probability of being a normal. All right, so let's go to the next one. Now what happens if I were to breed a pastel clown to a pastel clown. So I breed, snakes are really not behaving for me. So if I bred, now we're really getting down to it. So if I breed pastel clown to pastel clown, all resulting babies will be clowns because now we're breeding the homozygous recessive expression clown. So every one of the babies would be that. But what would happen was, would be, if we hit the theoretical probability, we could hatch, I'm gonna find my, my, find my props. Uh, where, wow, that's a, 
pastel. It's a super. All right, here we go. I get it. So I have a super in this clutch. So I would have two, two basically uh, two pastel clowns in this. Two pastel clowns, a clown, and a super pastel clown. And my super pastel clown may have just crawled away. So let's do. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so there's a 25% chance of having this. There's a 50% probability of having the pastel clowns. And there's a 25% probability of having clowns. This video is tough. My attention deficit disorder is, is really, these guys are just they're snakes taking off everywhere. And I don't wanna mix them all up. Okay. So we're gonna stop right now, and uh, we'll, we'll do another video on this. Actually, we're gonna introduce Spider, and we're gonna go a little further. We'll go into dominance. But uh, this is where you know genetics gets really exciting, and you're starting to make visual animals, and then you start mixing other genes. Okay, say goodbye.